Hi Shashwat ji, uh, very very congratulations for Thank your you. uh, UPSC CSE All India Rank One Two One. So how are you feeling? I'm feeling very elated. Uh, it's an overwhelming experience, and uh, I had not expected the results. So uh, it is indeed of a pleasure uh, to secure the rank. Okay, so what is the one lesson you have, you learned from your UPSC journey? So uh, the one lesson that I learned was that uh, the aspirants should never give up. Okay. That is what my mentor told me when I was pursuing the preparation. and i kept it very close to my heart that uh, one should never ever give up in this process so which attempt was this this was my third attempt okay yes okay so uh, like you gave to uh, like uh, what which level uh, you have yeah. passed in previous so in the steps. first attempt yeah. i could not clear the prelims examination okay. uh, that to by around 8 to 9 marks in the second attempt i cleared the prelims examination but failed to clear the mains examination okay. by four marks and in the third attempt i cleared okay. So as you know, you uh, have given three attempts. So what uh, what are the mistakes uh, aspirants do in uh, prelims, especially? So one of the mistakes that aspirants do is that they attempt to refer to many sources while preparing for prelims examination. I think a more wise approach would be to limit their sources and revise it multiple number of times. Secondly, they fail to understand the demand of the prelims examination. Okay. In my understanding, it is not just a knowledge based examination. It is also knowledge plus logic and rationale applied. uh with guess works that have to be made across the paper so uh, that is the second thing and third thing that i have seen recently is that uh, aspirants under attempt the number of questions they attempt okay. less than 80 questions in the view that the uh, cut off is dipping uh, but uh, my own uh, experience has been that they should attempt maximum number of questions so upwards of 90 at least to secure to clear the prelims exam and what about mains what strategies uh, do you apply in your preparation So for the mains examination, my sole focus was on enrichment. Okay. So I heavily enriched my uh, basic notes, which included uh, adding the recommendations of committees, Supreme Court judgments, and uh, uh, examples, keywords, data, facts. An academic material played very crucial role in this actually, and uh, I also played uh, solved a lot of test series uh, so that I can manage my time accordingly. So uh, what about the interview? How did you prepare for the interview? Because as this in the final uh, like uh, this attempt. in the world you gave it for the first time yes. so how do you prepare yourself so my approach towards the interview was that across the daf that is the detailed application form i should have utmost clarity on all the keywords i prepared a questionnaire on that in a very detailed format secondly i attempted a number of mock interviews uh, just to boost my confidence and thirdly uh, i made sure that whatever answers i give i give that out of conviction out of a great deal of uh, uh, you know uh, logic uh, based on rationale Uh, I, I ended up securing 200 marks in the interview, so that also okay. worked in my favor. Okay, so what is the one thing which you you know uh, something interesting it happened in your interview? Can you share that? Yeah, so in the interview, uh, in the midst of the interview, the chairperson uh, was taking a lot of stress tests with me. Okay. So he uh, went out outside the room to the washroom. Okay. Uh, and that was actually uh, that actually uh, at that time uh, confused me whether he is satisfied with my answers or not. Uh-huh. Then uh, for the rest of the period also he was using his mobile phone. Uh-huh. So after the interview got over, I was under the impression that it has not gone very well and I may not end up scoring good marks. But uh, that was not the case. This is how they attempt to stress test you in the midst of the interview. Okay. So yeah. That's amazing. So what is the one mistake you would like to share uh, with you, which you have done in your uh, UPSC journey? So one mistake that I have done essentially is that uh, in my first attempt I failed to. Uh, you know revised more number of times my revisions were very less uh, reason which i could not recall the concepts in the exam this is something that i rectified in this attempt i made maximum number of revisions and that helped a lot so uh, if you will see yourself and you you know just entered in the, uh, you know in upsc preparation and all so if you if you would uh, give one advice to that uh, you know that person so what advice you would give when you just enter yeah So I think for a ca- aspirant who just want to enter the space, they have to understand that UPSC is a very long journey. Number one, therefore, it is essential for them to have their direction very clear. For this, they need to have firstly good mentors. Secondly, they need to be very well abreast with the question, the PYQs as well as the syllabus, because that acts as the torchlight of the entire preparation journey. And thirdly, they have to choose their resources and their approach very wisely, because until and unless they understand what the exam. demands at the core of it they won't be able to address it they'll be studying everything and still finding not their name in the list this is something that i also faced in my first attempt so for an aspirant to enters the space this is the most important one thing that i recommend to all is not to stop reading the newspapers because it uh, has a very tremendous impact in your main chance writing 
uh, it boosts your uh, mental game as well in reading comprehension in csat it helps a lot so for someone who is just entering the space maybe not very sure about the subjects your newspapers can be a go to resource for you to uh, you know start your preparation so now uh, you have your rank and you're just about to uh, head to labasina so how excited you are i'm very excited in fact in today's event i uh, have made numerous number of friends okay. uh, will be joining me in lavasna that's great so uh, it's it's uh, it's a surreal experience and i hope it goes well okay thank you so much thank and you, uh, enjoy your new journey thank you thank you, thank you so much